Hey guys, it's Joe, and in this video I'm going to show you how to use Match EQ in Logic. Now this is a really interesting EQ as it's a learning EQ. What this does is that it learns the EQ fingerprint from an audio source and you can then apply that to a different source. So you can use this for either mixing or mastering, so for mixing purposes, perhaps you have a bass line that doesn't quite sound punchy enough, you can then bring in a separate bass line, an audio file, either from an isolated part of a song or a separate bass that you're really pleased with, learn the EQ curve of that using the match EQ, and you can then apply that to your current one that you want to beef up a little bit. I'll be demonstrating this for mastering purposes, so I've got two tracks here that I want one to sound more like the other, and to do this, it's actually quite simple. So here's the track that I want to change, this second one here, I want this to sound more like this one up here. So I've applied the match EQ to my second one, and we just need to learn in the EQ of this current one. So on this, we'll just press on current and learn, and then we just need to play a decent chunk of it so it can actually learn the EQ of it. It'll take the average peak frequencies and it'll learn that and remember it. Okay, so I just played about eight bars of this, and now I want to do the same with my reference. So what? there are a couple of different ways we can do this. Um, you can either actually just click on reference and drag in the audio file that you want to use or you can go up into sidechain and I'll sidechain through the audio that I want it to learn. Just need to mute that and then solo the right one. Uh, then press learn again and do the same thing. Play a decent chunk of it so it can learn it. So again I just did 8 bars. Now lastly all we need to do is go onto EQ curve and press match and now it'll load in the EQ curve to make my current track sound more like my reference. Now these tracks already sound relatively similar but now I've just kind of tightened them up a bit to make them sound closer to each other or certainly make this one sound more like my reference. Now this will never do the job 100% perfectly but it will certainly get you there 50% to 60% there and it's a really good start to do so. Once you have got this EQ curve in, you can still play around with it a little bit. So you've got how much you actually want to apply of it, the channel link between the left and right and smoothing of it. You can change the smoothing essentially by how precise the EQ is. You can see, so I drop it down, it becomes very precise and very, very jumpy. I think that can sound a little bit abrupt perhaps. So I tend to, I tend to keep it quite low and quite precise but still relatively smooth, whereas if we bring it all the way up, it's a bit too general, it doesn't quite sound right. So I just drop that down, I tend to leave it on two to three. Then with channel link, it'll actually separate the left and the right by however much you want, because certainly on my reference track up here, the left and right are EQ differently. And as you can see when I separate them, certainly in the high end, they start to separate quite a lot. Now I think a bit of variation between the left and right is good, so I tend to leave that around 30 to 50 percent just so there's a bit of variation and you can also change how much of it you want to use so as you can see I bring this up it'll increase it of course you want to find the right balance for what you want going too high or too low on them will never really get you good results so just playing around between 50 to 100 percent really so I think this is a really interesting tool and it comes with Logic, it's a completely free plugin and it can certainly be very useful for both mixing and mastering. So I hope you found this video useful and if you have any questions please leave a comment or contact me via my website. Thanks a lot for watching, cheers.